or when we return. Is that what you came to tell me? The, uh, the body's unidentifiable. They'll need to check the dental records. Wow. Well, oh, it's, uh, it's likely that Jerry really is dead this time. Leaves me with some mixed feelings. I will mourn the brother he was, but not the man he became. You found Jerry's body? Hasn't been identified. And unless we know for sure, you're still a target. I don't know where Ethan was. I personally told him to be there and receive the shipment. All right, well, extend my apologies to Senor Trujillo, please, and tell him I will more than make up for it. Did make my life easy and say yes. You know how I feel about working with doctors. You've sucked it up before. I'm asking you to do it. There are plenty of doctors that can do this. That's not true. It's a delicate operation. You and Lisa are the most qualified doctors for the procedure. Oh, are you talking about the neck trauma in ER? If so, I want in. And you're right. Patrick's definitely the best neurosurgeon for that job. Getting off duty. Take me with you. I'm white. Yeah, but I'm coming back for another shift. Split shifts. I do not know how you do it. I mean, I don't even have kids, and I would be a basket case. Oh, well, I've gotten used to it. I have a word with my sister. Yeah. Get some sleep. Maya's is right. I saw the rotation. Morning and evening shifts. Yeah, well, I don't really have a choice. I mean, after losing my savings on that failed investment, I kind of need to make money. That was my fault. I never should have gotten you involved in that. Oh, please, don't, don't say that. I mean, you invested in loss, too. I was prepared for it. You weren't. Why don't you just let me give you some money to make no, up for the loss? No, no, thank you, but I think I'll be okay. You don't have to worry about me. How are things with Lucky? Is he helping out with the boys? He always does. He's a perfect dad. Nothing more? You know he's with Siobhan. Yeah, I'm sorry. Me too. I gotta go. See you later. You heading home to take a nap? Um, no, I'm gonna take Aiden over to Windermere and have a little daddy time with Nicholas. Isn't that usually earlier in the week? I thought I'd surprise him. Do you know how long it has actually been since I spent the whole night clubbing? It's longer for me, I'm sure about that. Wait, I'm sorry, longer? Yeah. Longer or never? Mm. I had a, I had a great time. I really did. Me too. And I'm glad that you convinced me to duck out of that boring Upper East Side dinner party and go to the Soho Club instead. That's fun. Well, you know, you got to keep me around because I know all of the good places. Really, like the uh, Lincoln Avenue subway line? <laughs> what was wrong with that? Oh, Nobody got mugged. No, your driver picked us up. Here you go. Your driver picked us up. He dropped us off. You know, at the airport, everybody was fine. You know what? I, you liked it. I know. I know. I know. It was the perfect cap to the holiday season. But I. But I have to admit, I was. I was dreading it this year. But I enjoyed myself because of you. Are you hungry? I made the three cheese cure, so. I'm afraid to ask. No, 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 it, no. It's really good. It's um, it's actually macaroni ricotta. It's got what? It's got um, jack and cheddar, and it's been in the fridge the whole night. It's perfect, mm. perfect right now, and it is the thing to eat after a night like last night. And actually, just so you know, Alfred insisted that he help me make it. He was so of cute. Of course he did. He thinks that you are a most charming lady. Lady. Wow, well, I must be faking it good enough for our friends, so. No. You are a lady. Or it counts. What? No, nothing. What? Nothing. I just, um... I was actually... I was thinking about you dancing last night. Really? Well, you know, I got I got a few moves in my, uh... You got a, free, a few right? moves, yeah. yeah? Like a few kind of, like, uh... Chicken moves? 
Excuse me? Yeah, I'm sorry. It was so cute. You're like dancing to the beat and you're doing this like it was a kind of like a flapping I'm, thing. I don't, yeah. I don't move my yes, arms you like did. That. No, it was totally no, it was to drunk chicken. Drunk chicken. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, this is pitiful, but I promise, promise, I will take you dancing. But I will teach you moves so you can rock the dance floor next time. Okay. I'll take you up on that. Okay. Um, three cheese cure coming right up. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh you go ahead. I'm so, I'm so exhausted. Oh, okay. You wanna take a nap first? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap first. by truck. <laughs> Feels more like 10. Thanks. What the hell happened? Uh, so these guys do this to you? No, no. There were these, these high rollers. They wanted high stakes. I wasn't very discerning about their characters, so I opened up the back room at the star. I'm not following. You're a smart gambler. Yeah, well, not this time. <laughs> I wanted easy cash, so I got in over my head. So you gambled with money you didn't have? <clears throat> Stupid. <laughs> well, I realized that. About the time I was face down on the floor, covered in fresh boot prints. I give you good money to work for me. Why this sudden need for cash? It's this bet with Edward. You know, Maya and I stay married for a year. We get a million bucks. You know, it just seemed like a no-brainer. All we gotta do is stay together and we get a payout. Okay, so what's going on? You and Maya not getting along? No, no, it's the, it's the opposite. We, uh, she's amazing, you know. It's a good deal. I'm not seeing the problem, Ethan. I... I don't trust myself in relationships. All right, a year's gonna go by, it's gonna get better and better, and I'm gonna have to break Maya's heart. You know, she deserves better than that. And I thought if I could get the money, she wouldn't have to go through with the bargain. Okay, so let me get this straight. You care for Maya deeply, so you're going to give her money to break up with you. <laughs> Do you think that your brother is or was the Balkan? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. Did he ever confide in you? <laughs> no. No. And if you think that I somehow helped him in all of this, all the damage he's caused, you're wrong. No, I, I, th I don't think that. I just know that you're pretty much the only person that Jerry cared about. Yeah, that's why when he showed up this time, he pointed a gun at Carly and threatened to shoot her. And he would have. I don't know who my brother is anymore. Well, look, the, the thing is, is even if the body is Jerry's, I still need absolute proof that he was the Balkan. Well, it seems like your interest in this is more than professional. Well, the Balkan's men kidnapped Siobhan as leverage to get to Brenda, and then the plan didn't work, but Siobhan could have been killed. So the Balkan knows she matters to you? Yeah. And if he's still alive, the danger to Siobhan is as great as ever. Do you notice anything? Do you notice, did you notice anything different? <laughs> Those, uh, they're very beautiful. Do you like them? Yeah. They're Eternity Bands. Sunny gave them to me last night. It looks like that first one is rose gold. Yes, yeah. it is rose gold. <laughs> so that one symbolizes uh, the day we met. And then, I don't know, he gave this whole romantic speech. It was really yeah, kind sure. of adorable. Can you, can you just do me a favor and not go see Sunny without a guard? Why, has there been a new I threat? Mean, why? I mean, do you always have to question, to can you just do no, what I tell you? I am marrying your best friend, and so I'm going to ask you for the hundredth time. Why do you have to suck the joy because out of our wedding? Because there's not going to be a wedding if you're dead.